Alright everybody, welcome back to the Morphop project. Uh so yeah. Ah uh, boo boo. So yeah, today uh we're gonna make the other two. Or at least you know the first one and then you know the second one as well. So that we can create these uh little eggs that we can use later on. Might not sound like a lot of work, but uh, it's important, you know. And once we're done with the paint, uh, once we're done with the painting, we can then start with the coloring, of course. But uh, yeah, today we I want to make sure that I have those two eggs drawn in, and then we can go uh, to do the rest of it. Yeah. So, no further ado, uh, let's get started on the showing. Uh, hold on. Boom, baby. So since that we have the one egg and we have the two eggs there, we can then, you know, put a second layer down so that we have like this one right there and this one right now. Now we're going to draw on a clean sheet again because of how this all works. Um, Switching the size to 3.6 and uh, my shoulder blade is almost fully recovered so I'm very happy. Ooh. That was a very shocky one, that's for sure. Um, do I want this to be drawn in and then move onwards and then remove? Or do we just want to draw and then, you know, continue on it? I think drawing this one is the best one to go first, that's for sure. So, that's what we're going to do. Gonna draw this thing first. I'm gonna draw th this one first. And then once that one is done, we can then, you know, move onwards to the next one. Alright. And move that way. So we're gonna do first do the sketchy bit. And then once we're doing the sketchy bit, then after that we can, you know, decide where and how we're going to do the rest of it. So, it's going to be like this again. Hold on, um, this one. And then we move onwards, right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. So we want to move like this. And then we move like this. And this one right there. And we can also move this word like that. Yes, and that one. That one. And that one. Now we're done that, we can then move onwards to the other part, which is, you know, drawing the lines of it. So, drawing these lines. Sometimes take a little bit of pressure, you know, to figure out like how this is going to be doing and I'm not good at drawing the same thing every single time. But it should be, yeah. Uh, it's always good to have like variety in in the drawing anyway. The egg does have like the same idea. That's the main issue, or at least you know the main idea of it. Uh, 
the same pattern is the same, it's just, you know, that it is a little bit more different than the other one. The size, the view. It's not a copy-paste one, because, you know, copy-paste can be easily seen. And that is not good. Not good for the drawing at all. Alright. So yeah, once we're done with drawing this, um, we can then move on to the next one, and then once that is done, I will probably have, like, you know, done a lot. Well, you know, that's what I think it's going to be happening. And we can still, you know, move and twist things around, so no, no need to worry about anything here, just yet. Because we can still move things around, make things feel more, um, better, or, you know, create it easier. And this is just, you know, getting the uh, act to show up, get it better looking in. Why am I always filling this part? Ugh. All right. This should be it. Man, I suck at this sometimes. And you know, I miss the mark. And then once this one is done, we can, you know, get the sketch out of the way and then, you know, move onwards. Ooh, yes. It is actually quite relaxing today. No windy weather. The most of the uh, rough weather has already ha already had arrived earlier this uh, this midday. Lots of rain. Just only wind now, but uh, not too much of a pushy wind. Most of the times when there is like a heavy rain or heavy uh, storm, it's always quiet after that. Which is a quite fun thing to hear. Because we actually have like a... <clears throat> How do you say that? A word? No, 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 no. Legend? No. Ah, uh, come on. What do you say that? A telltale? Probably that's the word. Well, it is not technically a telltale. It's not a... It's not a... It's not a, it's not a, it's not a, it's not a, uh, dead. it's not a tell or till, it's just, you know, the, um, it's like what people always say, that's what it is, there you go, it's what people always say, and what people here always say is like, well, um, it is certainly quiet today because, you know, the thunder has subsided. Therefore, you know, after thunder comes always quietness. And that uh, after a storm always comes quietness. There you go. 
and that's definitely a thing that you know uh, the uh, that's definitely a thing that uh, normally the um, the people here would say because it makes it uh, it makes it more uh, fun to know that you know when when you had when you had a storm that most of the storm is already gone and there is no need for anything else and I like it I like that idea uh, let's see I'm trying to do my very best here to do it properly so I'll try my best I don't have a full proof idea but I could try this right there all right, uh, and then we can now move onwards, right? Yes, we could. All right, so now we have this one. This one is like this, like that. Then the big one, then the tiny one, and then we can move onwards to that one. There you go. All right. So how much do I think this is going to be working properly? Hmm. That's always a good question to ask, especially when you realize that, you know, when you're trying to draw, not everything goes the way you wanted it. It's like, oh, you want to draw it like that? Well, congratulations, you failed. And it's like, oh, but, 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 and then, you know, it doesn't work. Experimentation, knowing how things work, it's, it's all, you know, there. It's just, you know, you need to get to it. You need to reach it sometimes. And the main issue is that sometimes those reachable points can um, go where you don't want to go with the other part. All right. And what I really like about it is, you know, when once 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 this whole thing or this whole drawing is done, I will probably look at this and be like, "Yeah, it has been a good run, and I like it." And I must say, I cannot wait for the other things to draw. You know, this is one of those things I like to draw, and then you know we're gonna move on to next things, next project, next lovely drawing that we are going to be working on it's all those things that need to be done but before that you know of course we need to make sure that we finish them off up properly because you know leaving it on a sour note is never good and i always want to have this full i, w I want this thing to be seen in uh, i want to see this thing in its full glory and that's a, absolutely a thing that i will succeed at it's not like you know you think you think like oh man you're talking like you want to quit, and I'm like, no, 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 I'm not the one to quit. I'm just saying I would be happy once it's over. Because it is a very thing that drains a lot of energy out of me, but it also keeps me busy. And those things actually are very well working together, and I always like that when that happens. All right, uh, now we are going uh, again to that part of the egg. Get this one up and running. Get this one up and running. There you go. And the more we do this, the better it gets. That's the main idea. So, since that we're doing this the way of how I think it's going to be happening, uh, most of this will be working quite well. And once... Uh, once I have, like, you know, done the Morphok, I will probably, you know, go back to... Oh, man, I, I, I literally switched subjects. That's terrible. Ah, first, finish the other sentence before, it, I, before I'm mumbling on. All right, got it. So, once I get this, uh, once I get this full thing done, uh, I will probably be 20 minutes further 
and then you know we still need to have the other one but I like uh, but the detail is gonna be the most uh, time consuming one the amount of you know things that we are drawing right now is not is nothing compared to the uh, problem that we're gonna face later on because of uh, the way of how I always draw I always lay, I always make sure that there are leeways in the drawing itself making sure that you know not everything is going to be like oh this is going to need to be precise no not really it doesn't have to be it never has to be like you know we can you, you know we can fix this bit up right here because we can and then you know there you go and now this thing is actually far more interesting to look at already. Um, we want to go this one and then go up. Make this one. There you go. So the eggs are almost always the same. It's just, you know, that there are some issues around it. You know, it's it's a it's a thing that might be a little bit out of shape, out of work, but I think we can handle this once we're done with the whole damn shenanigans right now. Alright. So, and now I can switch subjects. So, um, what I'm going to be doing after the Morphog, that's, uh, that's the thing that I wanted to tell you guys on you anyway. I'm going to be probably, you know, uh, doing some uh, work on uh, on some action scenes, probably. Uh, for the story of awesomeness, just, you know, action scenes or background scenes. And then see how that's going to be working. Or how that, that's going to be fixing. So, the, the, the whole idea is that, you know, you're, I'm going to be combining the other... I'm going to be working on the other one, because the other one is also important. And then I have only one project running. Uh, does this mean that the other project uh, that there are nothing that, that it is then only one project? Yes, if ish, because it is technically background and therefore you know it's not actually the the real thing. And I do want to you know keep up with the emotions, so that's what I'm going to be doing. Next week I will start with uh, Rufina and get her up and running to get to, uh, getting from a character design perspective towards uh, a base of how I'm going to be drawing her. Because sometimes it's really hard, you know, to draw uh, draw, draw new things. That's that's always a thing, you know. Drawing new things, you know, you have your already your, your one thing and now you need to add one more. And then you need to add more and more and more. Well, you know, like I always say, when we're doing things like this, it's always good to just, you know, lay back, relax, and then, you know, gently push forwards. If you don't do that, then you don't have the patience for it. Um, imagine this, all right? You're, 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 you're almost late for your uh, exam, and you have 20 minutes. So, you could try to... Uh, learn whatever you needed to learn in the first place and uh, maybe succeed depends on how stressed you are you're probably gonna be shut you're gonna be probably sh mentally shut down and then you know you've totally fail the exam for instance or you could just take a relaxing uh, approach on it and then say like all right what were the most important parts of what I needed to learn and do I know them then you go on then you follow the list of you know problems that you are had that you have been occurring and eventually you know you will hit a dead a dead end and that a dead end is like all right i need to learn this i need to learn that i need to learn that and i didn't learn this now you probably will then only have like five minutes left so what you then do is actually just uh, casually look into it and be like all right I just need to learn these types of basics, and that would be it. And then that should, you know, fix it by a little bit. It's not like a lot, but uh, if you have photocentric memory, you probably will be able to figure out what the hell you had to be learning in the first place. Uh, yeah, photo memory is fun. 
It's like, you know, you never forget stuff. Kind of fun. It's like, oh, all right, so I have to do this, 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 and in, in this particular order, and then I will get that outcome. Yes. And that's how you learn. Well, at least, you know, that's how I learned. Probably I was not the best example for this. Mm. Note. I will note that. Because, you know, if I don't, if I don't, if I, if I take myself for an example, you know, I'm teaching you my ways of how I deal, dealt with it. How I dealt with certain types of things like, you know, surprise exam incoming. And then, you know, you're instantly like screaming like, oh, God, no, please don't. Yeah, those are the worst. Surprise exams, they are like scary. Because you think you don't learn anything from the uh, from the thing that you have learned, and I I'm always like, nah, I learned, but I always second doubt myself for it. And second doubting has its own benefits. Don't get me wrong. Now, all right, now we have this, and now we need to get this one up and running properly. So. Um, let's start with the bottom part and then go upwards, like that. I'm going to switch the side. All right. That is... Absolutely lovely. All right. So now we're at the hard part. Now we're at the detail part. The main issue with the deep oil detail part is like, you know, you can make mistakes. And uh, <laughs> mistakes are very visible once once you're done. So what I'm now doing is actually, you know, implementing the same amount of ideas of what I did with the other one and try to mimic it. It's... Uh, it's a mimic. It's not. It's not gonna be, you know, perfect. It's not gonna be perfect. It's not gonna be great. It's gonna be gentle, yes, and it's gonna be um, organized. It's gonna be a bit, you know, of the same idea. The main issue, the main problem with it is that you know it's not the same as the other drawing, but that also gives it its own uniqueness. Therefore, you know, it will be giving you a little bit more of a heads up what it's gonna be to come. And this one. So, what am I going to do now? Well, I'm going to be drawing these things, and these things need to be drawn in such a manner that they represent that hard old-fashioned rock. It doesn't mean that they have to be representing correctly rock, but they do need to represent rock in such a way that it does implement it. Um, this one is actually the hardest one. Alright. Alright. Now we're gonna go to the next one. Um... Alright. Uh, let's see, this one is like that. Yeah, it's not a mimic, but I will try to do my very best here. And not everybody can do the same amount of best as all anybody else. You know, you want to do your same thing that you did last time? <laughs> no, 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 that's not going to be happening. Especially when you're drawing eyes. Oh, then you're going to be regretting your day. It's like, oh, I want to draw the eye exactly the same as the other one. Well, that's not how it works, kiddo, because if you're doing that, you're gonna get, you just put on Gmodder tree and you will realize that if you draw an eye like that, the eye ain't gonna be looking the same. Yeah. What you could try to do is like, you know, draw this and then you have uh, this kind of feeling. You have this eye right there. With uh, this kind of feeling to it. So, if you look at that, then you have on the other side, you have the same eye. 
and you can see that that eye is actually looking the same but of course you know there are some issues with it for instance one of the issues that it has is like uh, uh, it has not been fully completed so we should fully complete it there you go and then you know but there you go and that is how you draw an eye and then you have the other car other part of the eye as well but because it is all the same it's not very helpful uh, let's remove that and not and then ignore the rest yeah that's a good way but it's just an explanation on how to draw eyes if you really want to but it's not a recommendable one because it is technically wrong to do so the main issue with it is that you know the eyes can be looking very the same and because it is very very the same it uh, will remove the uniqueness of the eyes itself and because if you can if you draw an eye that is handmade you can see the difference that's the idea or at least you know that's the that's the concept the the execution of course is different way different i have many uh, I have many concepts on drawing eyes, and I was like, nah, I'd rather go with this this kind of effect. So have um, have the eye between a certain amount of things. So instead of having, um, you know, that is also a thing I could do. But yeah, it does create character, so that's always good. Um, mm-hmm. Now we need to have like a straight up, there you go. Yeah, that does look, that lo does look uh, pretty much the, the way I intended it would be looking. So that's good. I just need to strengthen up some of the parts here and there, and then that should be, and that should be it. What that part? all right and now we can move to the next one so we're going to change up the drawing part here and then we can move on it's quite fun to draw these eggs though they remind me a little bit of easter and i am now hungry for chocolate god dang it you know every single time i think about easter it's just you know what do you think about easter i think about chocolate lots of chocolate a lot of people would think about eggs. No, no, no. Chocolate. Just chocolate. You have Valentine's Day, that's chocolate. Then you have Easter, that's also chocolate. And then... You also have Christmas, when there is also chocolate. Yeah. That's how you work. Just chocolate. Nothing else but chocolate. And I don't mind. Actually, I really appreciate if people, you know, send me chocolate. It's like, ooh, yes. Send me chocolate. I do need it. I oh, I feed on it every day. Because, you know, every single time you have a good day, you eat chocolate. Why would you do it on a good day? Because it in actually improves your... Uh, it improves your uh, uh, feelings. No, no, no. Happy feelings. There you go. It uh, stimulates it. It also stimulates depression, but uh, that's not a thing. That's a whole nother... Uh, uh, that's a whole nother... Uh, Thing, but uh, yeah, so don't so don't eat chocolate when you're down. Just eat chocolate when you're up and running, and all will be fine. And I mean, like, really, it all will be fine. I I really really am liking, you know, just chocolate. And once and once do you once you have the chocolate, you can just you know do whatever you want with it, because most of the chocolate that you get is like you know just easy cheap chocolate. And that is all. That's all that you need. Easy, cheap chocolate is very affordable and very good for your mind, body, and soul. Maybe not for your body too much, but just eat it with eat it with care. And that's the best idea I would I would give. Yeah. It's like going to a concert and knowing that what you're gonna watch is gonna shock you, and then it's like not shocking at all. It's like, damn. I didn't know that I expected that, and then that's it. But if you would have been like very, 
scared of it all the time and then you sh and then you do it and it's like <gasps> no not that act oh i am so scared and then suddenly when you see the act it's and it, it scares you it scares the living shit out of you because you were expecting something scary and then something scary to happen and you know that it is and you're not afraid of the scary damp thing then you probably would be fine i don't know where i'm heading with this it's like probably because these crystals look like eyes yeah, probably. That's the problem. Probably that's the problem. It's not my problem, but probably that's the problem. Alright. So, yeah. I'm very happy upon what, what, I, what I'm learning right now. Getting this all up and running. Making this into, uh, making this into a drawing. It, it, it gives feeling, all right. It gives good feeling. It gives good, uh, good nature. It gives a, it g gives a good vibe. And that's all I need. A good vibe is all I need. Uh, I need to erase these lines. Yes. All right, good. There you go. All right. Now we're going to move downwards again. Get this one up and running. Get the crystal into a position that looks nice. Get the rocket position up and running. All right. Nice. That is good. Um, gonna be saving this. Gonna be looking at the time, just in case. Thirty minutes. Well, not too bad. Not not the best record for just drawing on an egg, but uh, it's already good. And as I said before, the detail takes a long time. Detail takes a long turn because of how the detail works. And the more I do this, the more exhausted I get in F3N, I will probably be laying down on my bed being like, Oh, man, do you know those eggs I drew? Yeah, those eggs are great. But of course, I'm totally exhausted, so therefore, you know, I would be probably be like, God damn eggs, making me tired again. It's like, you know, you have egg, you have an egg, a cell phone, you have an egg, uh, an egg clog. Yeah. Probably there is an egg clog. Probably there's also an egg app that just, you know, tells you when to ha get the eggs out of the oven or get the eggs out of the, uh, out of the, uh, out of the water. For the perfect egg. And, uh, you know, perfect eggs take time. Effort. Time, effort, and a lot of it. This is why I like this. This is why I like this drawing so much. And why am I doing it upside down? It's because, you know, then I can, you know, implement sharpness later on a bit more. And it will create more effect on it. Um... There you go. Of course, not everything can, uh, has to be, you know, the same as always, but I like to keep consistency in the way of how these uh, sharp, sharp tones come like, you know, they go sideways into it. There you go. Um, then I need to remove some, so I will. This bit right here is absolutely useless. This bit right here doesn't need to exist. And that's it, right? 
Uh, yep. 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 Doesn't need to exist. All right. Continue. All right. There you go. Now we have done that one. Now we need to move on this one again. Um, all right, cool. Hold on, I need to close the door. Doggo is literally just being very annoying. I'm trying to concentrate here. You don't have to do that bloody damn barking. It means that he's probably just wanted the intention. Because, you know, he has probably been already out of the... Uh, out of the door, having his daily routine of walking, so... Uh, let's see, I want this one, that one, that one, and then go upwards that way, yes. Yep. There we go. And as you can see, the more I do this, the more, um, the more we get at it, the more, the more we get at the point where we are. And once we're at the point, we are done. So that's good. That looks nice. I like it. All right. There you go. Oop.
und There you go, and now it should be done. Come on. I'm almost there. I can feel it. I can know it. I can see it, I can feel it, and I can know it that I'm almost there. You know? Once we get to the point we need to be. Ugh. Man. Why does it take so long to just draw a skill? Skills on an egg. You know, back in the day when, you know, you had your egg and you could just paint it with a brush and everybody would be liking it and then it would be like, oh man, Easter Bunny, yeah. And that were the days. That were the days, you know, when people were happy that they saw some colored eggs in the grass. Whew. I could imagine that that is actually no longer happening. I could imagine that. I don't know if egg hunts are still a thing. Probably not. I think it's a more thing of the past. Because children are, uh, children are sometimes a little bit hard to satisfy sometimes. Mm, it also depends on how you raise them anyway. Uh, let's see. That way. And the good thing is that, you know, the more we do this, the better we get at it. The better we get at it, the faster we get at it, and therefore, you know, nothing has to be worried about anyway. It's just, you know, a very hard egg. All right. Now we have two eggs. Not the same eggs, but two eggs. Not the same eggs, but two eggs that are, you know, with the same pattern. Ow. Ouch. Yeah, almost. I said almost that it was back. Oh, almost. Correct. All right. Um... So, uh, <clears throat> I'm gonna do my daily speech of whatever or whatever it happens, but uh, yep, I think you guys know the drill on this one. <laughs> uh, yeah. Uh, it, uh, since that I need to, uh, I'll, I'll just repeat myself here because it is important. Uh, since that I have been drained out of all, all the energy I have with drawing this. I'm not gonna be going for 15 minutes on the other part of the egg because of, well, uh, that's just gonna be taking way too much time in my head, and I'm not actually uh, good with that. Um, I could, I would, I would have continued if it was like you know part of one part, but uh, no, this is uh, another drawing. Therefore, I need to take a break, otherwise uh, I'm gonna be losing. Concentration big time, and since I, uh, since I need to make sure that you know I'm doing this correctly, therefore you know I need to take the break uh, be to be responsible because I then will be responsible because I'm responsible for the quality. I need to make sure that I do the quality correctly. Um. Anyway, I hope you all have enjoyed for today, and uh, thanks all for watching, and uh, I hope I'll see. Uh, I hope I'll see you all next time. And uh, I want to wish you all a lovely day. Bye!